off the field. So set it wide, you're coming pretty good. Yeah. Stand the ball nicely, okay? Nothing really to worry about there. All I would say in terms of the address position is that ball needs to be more towards your left field. You had it before. It was a bit too far back in your stance, so the ball was a bit too far near your centre. Mm. With the driver, with the ball up on a tee, you want to be hitting it a little bit more on the way up rather than coming down too much and to try and get out of your own way. Mm. Okay, but other than that, the setup is good. Swing wise, as we said, we want the club to be a bit more in front of your body. So, this position now, you have your right hand behind your body, whereas, sort of similar position here now, we can see your hands more in line with your body. It hasn't quite gone back so far mm. there where your hands are. This left hand is completely in sort of uh, the, the side of your, your t-shirt where your left hand there sort of crept that side and your right hand well outside of my head in front of your body in between oops, those lines there mm -hmm. where there to there. So the hands are at least inside just about where this one has gone further out, okay? Mm -hmm. And what you'll notice now when you go back to the front, the club now isn't going to be quite so far. Let me get the top of your back swing. Get the top of your back swing, there you go club now you can see aiming across the line over to the right there so your club now is going to come in more from this direction yeah. whereas this one as we get higher hands your club now is more there rather than so much across see the club coming back down at the golf ball if your club is coming back down from two what we call behind you or inside this position here now we can see the club head back here so you're in some ways doing all you are now trying to do is hit the golf ball over to the right there Okay, mm -hmm. with the ball's back in the stance and aiming out to the right with a drive, then you've got 10 degrees. Mm. You're going to get that sort of low, smothery, low shot, not going to get much height on it at all, not going to go very high. And then as you come into it, you'll try and pull the golf ball to the left and we'll catch right on the end of the golf club, as we, sorry, as we can see there, mm -hmm. losing a lot of energy. Whereas this one, as you come back down, bringing the golf club back down, you can see now, at that point, that golf club is perfectly straight towards your target so you've yeah. got the club kind of back in front your previous one on this left hand side the club at this point was over there mm -hmm. so your direction your club was swinging was that to the right now it's straighter mm -hmm. your swing is going to be straighter so when you come back to the golf ball see the difference in the contact now right out the middle of the golf club there mm -hmm. that ball is going to fly straighter further and higher mm -hmm. hence the results we're getting mm -hmm rather than catching off the end of the club with the club face turning over. Because I've got driver two sets, I think 12 degrees, 13, 12, 13, what does it say? Let me reflect, probably about 12 or 13 degree mm. angle on that. Oh. So if I have the club here, mm. that's got the 13 degrees. If I put my hand and do this now, mm. I've got nothing really, no loft at all in that golf club. Mm -mm. So you're losing a lot of flight. So when you make contact, the ball's just gonna go low. Mm. Then if you try to add to the loft by lifting your arms up, part of the golf club mm. top it. so you're losing power mm -hmm. losing your contact and the ball's not really going very far at all and over time what happens is when you probably started losing a bit of distance and confidence with your driver you kind of start doing things to try and help the ball up in the air and mm. lift it but as we saw just by adjusting that ball position mm. we can get the club back more in front of you here getting a good strike a lovely strike of the golf ball ball setting down the range nicely there much more twist through that golf ball as opposed to that one there and everything else in your arm sort of just folding around mm -hmm. to the left. So move the ball forward mm. only with the driver and when the ball's at a tee base, mm. okay? Because you want it to go for slightly on the way up, mm. okay? And then from there, we're just trying to get the club, as I was saying, as a, the club a bit more sort of back in front of you here, so your hands are more in front of your body and up here with the club rather than so far round and behind your body, mm -hmm. okay? The arms get too low round here, as we can see. Your hands get too low behind your body there. Mm. There's no way that club can come back to the golf ball, correct? It's always going to be coming from too far behind you. The club's not designed to do that. We want this golf club really swinging a little bit more kind of this way to tag, as opposed to in here and like a topspin lob kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But you can't get the ball up in the air high enough to get the topspin. Mm. All you get with the driver is basically the roll on the ground. Mm. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Excellent, good. We'll have a couple of shots on this and we'll see how it goes from there, okay?